<laughs> well this is um the evening off the cattery build i've just uh, finished dying or well doing the wood stain and i've just put the cats in connie's been down and explored all the different areas as has rainbow and bentley's just gone and sat on his top bit <laughs> it's quite funny because they were all actually sat in the top bed and if i can try to show you we have three cats they are connie's just gonna go downstairs to explore we have three cats in the upstairs bedroom fighting over the best spot because obviously they can see at the window and everything up there. All right, Bentley. I'm just making them settle in there to before I let them out to explore the room so they realise that's their bedroom. Connie has literally just gone downstairs. Um, I'll get the light out. So she is downstairs down there exploring. You can see her moving down there. Hello, Connie. <laughs> there's another bedroom here and there's another um, bedroom at the back. The little tray is now in. I don't want to open anything up for a minute because I just want to let them sort of um, sort themselves out. Actually, let's open the door now. Bentley being a good boy. Let's have a look. Who's in here? Who's in here? Bentley's escaping very quickly. There's Connie and Rainbow. Because they were shut in, look, they said, let's get out of here. Your babies. Um, so what I do is I leave it open for the night and just keep putting them in and let them leave the door open for them. They've all had a good explore. Good girl, Connie. Good girl. Yeah. Um, there we go. The rainbow, what's going on? So we have my loo bucket and next to the little tray. Um, the kitchen's going to be going where that tape is. And cats are all going to go running in, run in the front now. Bentley's just jumping over the sink to get to the front. So we're going to come up and have their dinner now. Um, and I'll leave this. Uh, oops, get the light on it. I'll leave the door open, then go in and out as they wish to. Most of them probably sleep in the front seats, but I want them to get used to going in and out of there. And obviously, I've got to make Connie find the litter tray. Um, the other two will go out, but I've got to make her realise she's got to go in through there to get down to the litter tray. Or I can obviously open the door, so I might actually open the door in a minute so they can go and go um, upstairs and downstairs from that door. Actually, I'll do that now. So, what we'll do, we will open. <laughs> This door, which is the litter tray, and there's the cubby holes into um, the cat flap is through the bottom hole. There's a bedroom at the top, the top hole. There's also another door here, which allows them um, the walkway through from the um, cat flap in into this door. And there's an upstairs bedroom, and then another upstairs bedroom, um, which is at the top level where the window is, which they favour. So that's just all drying at the moment. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave that door open so they can get in and out from upstairs and downstairs and the cat litter is open and obviously allows them to get used to the new build and not feel contained or restrained because the, it's all shut obviously it's going to be better for them in the daytime but the build continues tomorrow so they only really get to explore the van at night time so i haven't managed to sort of come back and put too much stuff in um i haven't even put the bedding back in actually but we're all just in here I'm going to watch some tv um, and just settle for having their supper. I'm about to feed them, and uh, I've got a lamp on. Some batteries are all full after sunshine. So anyway, we're all just exploring the new cattery and getting used to it. And Liam has done an absolutely fabulous job. I have actually just uploaded a video to YouTube of it in the daylight before it was varnished, so you get a better look then. But yeah, loving this. Really, really happy. Right, catch you later.